Hey everybody, welcome to Mrs. Klein's virtual classroom. We're going to work through another spelling phonics review today. Let's start with one of our oral drills. Okay, say hop. Now say hop again, but change the ah to an o. Oh. That's right, guys, we have the word hope. Good job. Say cod. Now say cod again, but change the ah to an o. Oh. Good, we have code. Say rob. Now say rob again, but change the ah to an o. Oh. You got it, we have the word robe. Say rod. Now say rod again, but change the ah to an o. Oh. That's it, road. Say pock. Now say pock again, but change the ah to an o. Oh. You got it, the word is poke. Good job, guys. All right, that was good work on the oral drills. Let's look at the spelling rule now. We have O, which says ah, like ox. This is the short O sound. This happens when O is followed by a consonant. You can see down here, this O is followed by one or more consonants. And it will say the short O sound, which is ah, like ox. Say O, ox, ah. Very good. Okay, let's look at it. If you look at this word, we have the word not. If we were to sound it out, it would be n, ah, t, not. Now, if we add the bossy silent E to the end of the word, and there's an O, then the O is going to now say its name. That bossy silent E goes over and tells that vowel, that O, say your name. So instead of O saying ah, it now has to say O. Here's an example. Let's sound this word out. We have n. Now we know that we have to say o instead of a ah because there's that silent bossy e at the end. T. So the word is note. All right. Now, get out your your phoneme grapheme mapping boxes if you have a copy of them. This is what they look like. Remember, if you're at home and you don't have a copy of this, you can always draw some squares onto a piece of paper and use cereal, M&Ms, crackers, anything like that for your counters. <clears throat> okay, our first word, we're gonna say the word dog. Now go ahead and tap dog. D, a, g, dog. Now we're gonna pull our counters down for each sound. D, a, g, dog. Now we're gonna go ahead and write our letters for each sound. D, a, g, dog, d-o-g. Okay, go ahead and check it. Make sure that you have the right letters. D, a, g, dog. Good job, guys. You're going to go ahead and clear your boards. And we're gonna get ready for the next word. Okay, now say hope. Let's tap hope. O, p, hope. 
Let's go ahead and pull our counters down for the word hope. O, P, hope. How many sounds does the word hope have in it? Good job, it does, it has three sounds. You can tell because we have the three counters pulled down, hope. Let's go ahead and start writing the letters that go with the sounds for the word hope. H, O, O. Ooh, that's the long O sound, it's saying its name. That should give us a clue for our word. And what do we need to add on the end because O says its name? Yes, the silent bossy E. It is added on the end. Notice there is no counter above it because it does not make a sound. The counters are for sounds. It does not make a sound. It comes over and tells this O, say your name. So the O has to say O instead of ah. Now, if I want to change the word hope to hop, what would I have to do? That's right. I would have to take away that bossy silent E, and then I would have the word hop. Hop, hop. Everyone go ahead and think of a sentence using the word hop. Go ahead and tell someone in your house the sentence with the word hop in it. Okay, I've heard quite a few sentences, most of them relating to a frog will hop. The Easter bunny will hop to my house. Those are all nice, nice sentences. Okay, go ahead and clear off your boards and get them ready. We're going to look at these cards now on my screen. You can see the difference between the word hop and hope. Hop has three letters with three sounds. Hop, hop. Hope has four letters with three sounds. Hop, hope. That silent E on the end does not make a sound, but it makes the O say its name. All right, let's go ahead and say the word frog. Go ahead and tap frog. F-r-a-g, frog. Okay, let's go ahead and pull our counters down now for each sound in the word frog. F R, A, G, frog. Nice job, guys. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and write our letters for the sounds in the word frog. Notice there are four sounds in the word frog. F, F, R, R, A, O, G, G. Frog. Let's go ahead and touch our letters and make sure that we have the right ones while we say the sounds. F, R, A, G, frog. Very nice job, guys. How many letters does the word frog have in it? Good, I heard somebody say four. You are correct. It has four sounds and it has four letters. All right, go ahead and get your boards cleared back and ready. The next word is the word rope. Everybody say rope. Let's tap rope. R, O, P, rope. Very nice. Let's go ahead and pull our counters down for the sounds in the word rope. R, O, P, rope. How many sounds are in the word rope? You're right, there are three sounds in the word rope. Notice that vowel sound, O, oh, it's saying its name. That should go ding, ding, ding in your head and make you realize what do we need at the end? 
Let's go ahead and write our letters for our sounds. R, R, O, O. O is saying its name. That, that sets off an alarm in my head. P, P, and there it is. The bossy silent E is at the end because O is saying its name. All right, let's review. We are, I'm going to put some words up on our whiteboard up here and I'm going to just scroll through them and I want you guys to read them out loud to me, okay? We'll start with this one, go ahead. Yes, the word is hope, good job. Got. Vote. Not. Snob. Dome. Code. Woke. Dot. And this is our last one, mom. Good job, you guys. I am proud of you. You all did a great, great work today. And I hope that you enjoyed the lesson that way. I will look forward to seeing you and hearing from you and how you did on this. Let me know if you liked that format or not. All right, I will talk to you guys later. Love and hugs. Bye.